Create a trading platform part five. Okay, <laughs> where we left off, we had this form like this. I changed a few things around. Added some color to the buttons. And moved this up a bit. And okay. Um, in order to change the color, you click on the button and go to, say, background color. And change that to, say, red. And change the um, foreground color to white. And also make it bold. Okay, next I want to add a timer in here. The timer will be used to um, get the last price or the ask price or the bid price, depending on which one you decide, into the limit box after you request the streaming data. It'll count down based on the ticks in the timer. Um, say five ticks. Uh, each tick will be a tenth of a second. At the end of that time, it'll put the limit price in the limit box from the bid ask or last. Okay, let's see what to do next. Um, get your timer from your toolbox. Double click on it. And puts it down here. So double click on that and enter this code in it. Okay, I gotta make a global variable called timer one counter. I'll go up to the top and put that just under this order ID integer. Make it equal to five. Okay, go back down. Okay, next, what should we do? Okay, next thing I want to do is make uh, this symbol highlight after you hit enter so you can, so you don't have to rub it out each time it'll be highlighted when you start typing it'll just start typing a new symbol so to do that click on this um, the lightning bolt go to your key down double click on it and add this at the end it'll select all in the symbol box okay next also we want to start the timer when we uh, request data from the symbol box on the enter so we have to start the timer by typing um, timer one start. Okay, next. Um, next, we're going to add some stuff to the what do you call it? The 
limit order type limit combo box right here um, go back to your properties um, and under collection enter all these in capital letters L M T S T P M K T market trail stop limit market on close limit on close press ok okay next uh, let's add some portfolio update actually before we do that I want to add a box for the um, oh, shut up interactive brokers probably lost the connection to it okay added a few more text boxes one for the average price and one for the um, shares position size okay where are we here text box call it text box Actually, I want this one position position this one to call it text box average price. Also, I'm going to add a couple labels so you know what they are. This one I'll call average price for the text. You can also shorten it. Doesn't have to say average price, it can just say AVG price. Okay, the next one I'm just going to put position for the text. Okay. Suppose I could have added this before, but <clears throat> anyway. Next step, I want to add a portfolio update. So when you hit enter, if you're in a position, say you're in Netflix, it'll put the average price and the position size in there. So to do that, you want to go to the con link and double click on your portfolio update portfolio EX. Enter this code in it. Uh, it's pretty self explanatory uh, what it does. Okay, I gotta go back to where I request uh, live streaming data and also do a request for portfolio updates or request account updates. And okay, go to design symbol, double click on key down. Make sure this code is in there. AX TWS one request account updates zero comma account my account. And also put this in there. Um, put that right at the end. 
request updates. Um, this number one here means uh, it requests it. If it's a zero, it cancels it. So, okay, next step. I think we're ready to try it out. So, press start. Okay, I'm now connected and I've I have um, the bid and ask price and last price um, since I already hit enter on Netflix to request the streaming data. Okay, what we changed in the video um, was this part uh, highlights this the text in the box and you can change from one stock to another very easily. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh, also, we changed or added some uh, different order types to the uh, combo box here for order type. Um, these I'll uh, probably do a video on these later. But for now, I'm just going to buy or sell 100 shares of Netflix at the bid. I click on the bid to get the price in the limit box. Um, okay, and now we're going to buy them back. The ask. Cover them. Okay. Now, as you can see, I, my average price is zero and position is zero. Um, before the position said minus 100 shares, which means I was short 100 shares. If it was a positive number, I'd be long 100 shares. Okay, let's see what else. Okay, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. If you missed any of the code, um, uh, that'll be on my website. And stay tuned for more exciting things to come. And if you want anything explained, again, I may do a video on certain aspects of the work we've done together so far. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye.